What's going on guys? I'm Alex and we're back with another video. iOS 18 has been out for a few weeks, well officially at least, obviously if you're part of the beta program, you get it early, but it's been out for officially I think two weeks now, three weeks now, three weeks. And uh, you know, it's fun to jump into it. All the customization features that you can do now in your iPhone on the lock screen and the home screen from changing the size of the actual icons to making them a dark theme uh, to adding in widgets and that's what we're talking about today uh, widgets of course have been a part of the ios and iphone ecosystem uh, but with ios 18 with all the customization and the changes you can make on the home screen it allows it to be a lot more interactive and a lot more fun frankly uh, to add widgets in to the home screen and even the lock screen so we're going to jump into that we're going to show you the functionality of widgets and then also just how they can make it more aesthetically pleasing on your phone Let's do it. All right, let's jump right in to my widgets. So I have two widgets active right now. Uh, the weather at widget um, that I got that's in a smart stack. And then I have a calendar widget um, that actually is functional as well. Um, and I use that as a large one. So uh, there's a lot of widget apps out there to begin with. Um, let's go to the Apple Store and kind of show you. If you type in widgets, um, and I've already have done that, you'll see a ton of widget apps come up. Uh, Themify Widget Smith is a good one and I've used before. Um, Widgie is my preferred one, but there's a ton out there. You can find, kind of find what you like um, as easy to use, but Widget is easy to use. So we're going to just open that up. Um, obviously, they have an explore function here to show a bunch of the different new widgets. You can sort by sizes. So small, medium, large, um, extra large if you need one, um, newest, oldest, all that good stuff. So it's an easy way to sort and, and you can filter um, by what you're looking for in terms of the type um, of uh, widget you're looking for as well in there. So I really like that widget there. I might, might look at using that one. But anyway, so once you get in here and find one, let's just say I like that one, right? You're going to import the widget, right? Let's just say I imported that widget. That widget is then going to show up in your uh, create category where it says imported. So as you can see, I've imported a few of these here. These two I'm using currently. This is just another widget app I have. Um, so, and then I've downloaded a battery uh, widget as well. So, um, but let's just say I want to have that action for the calendar icon that I have, calendar widget I have. So we're going to go to manage and you're going to go down to that slot, which is a large slot here. We're going to customize that. All right. So once you get over here to your imported uh, widget, you're going to hit the edit, edit widget. And then as you can see, my tap area is actually basically the clock area. Um, obviously, you can change that uh, by just changing the size um, of it by just clicking in and you can change the actual size of it. But um, my tap action, as you can see, goes to a URL, which is the calendar. Um, so whenever I do that, um, it, it goes straight to the calendar. But if I wanted to to basically make it so that it's new, if I was showing you how to do it, um, I would go into, um, let's just say it didn't have a tap action. I would just hit this plus icon, scroll down and you would see tap action here, and you would just hit tap action. So once you hit tap action, um, what you'll see pop up is um, here, and it'll say external action. It'll say return to home. You just wanna hit that plus, plus again to open URL, um, and then you wanna tap the ad, edit, Apple apps, and then calendar. Um, and then once you hit that, you can go back to confirm, and that is it. So it's functional, but also aesthetic, different, unique, whatever you want to call it. Um, just kind of blends right in with the with the landscape of the background. So um, and obviously, make it uh, making it transparent with the background. You can do that in Widgie as well. Um, as you can see up here, once we go to um, manage, you can see setup transparency. So once I set up transparency, you would take a screenshot of the background. So obviously you would uh, edit the home screen. You can scroll over and you'll always have a page that's empty by default. So that you can get a screenshot. You take that screenshot, import it into Widgie and set up transparency. Then you go in back into the actual Widgie slot. And then you can, um, the widget position um, is how it gets that tra uh, transparency. So um, really, really, like I said, really, really easy to use. Um, very cool. I love the setup of it. Obviously, the weather app is functional as well. So it takes you right to the weather um, to show you what's going on. We've got a thunderstorm coming. So um, definitely, definitely highly useful, um, but also, again, aesthetically pleasing. 
I just like how it's, it fits right in and blends right into the uh, background. So that's how to use widgets or widgie in iOS 18 for your iPhone. Uh, definitely give this a, a video a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. Um, definitely uh, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. We've got a lot more uploads coming. Um, and also, uh, I've got some tips and tricks on my shorts uh, category on my channel as well. If you need any um, shortcuts or, or tips and tricks, basically, on how to use uh, your iPhone's best of ability um, and the new iOS 18 as well. Also, if you have a Mac, I've got some shorts on that too, Mac OS Sequoia. There will be more, uh, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe if you're new. But that'll do it for today's video, guys. Hope you like it. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.